All right, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna be watching Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. I'm very excited for this movie because I thought the last two Ant-Man movies were, I thought they were actually really underrated. I had a lot of fun while doing them, so I hope this movie is just as much fun as those ones. And we get Jonathan Majors back as Kang. I really like Jonathan Majors as Kang and Loki, even though it was just a setup for his character. I'm really excited to see him in this now, so, and I can't wait. So I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're just gonna hop right into this movie. If you'd like to watch the full length reaction, that will be available on Patreon. But anyways, let's get started. All right, where the heck are we? Oh wait, this is uh, Hank's wife right before we found, found her in the quantum realm, yeah. Okay, so we're a little bit back in Ant-Man 2 right now. I'm guessing. Who did that? Oh, there he is. What is this place? Yeah, so this is just like a version of him, though. Like he explained to Loki, there's just going to be an infinite amount of versions of him. It's just starting a multiversal war, so all these kings are about to be out of control. I think I remember Loki, right? I hope I did. My life doesn't really make sense. Can you take a picture with my dog? <laughs> Scott, what about now? <laughs> the dog? <laughs> Ruben, you are the best. Thank you, Spider-Man! <laughs> yeah, just, just go with it. I think you know who she is. Now she's using the PIM particle for global change. Deforestation, affordable housing, food production. None of this should have happened. But it did. It's a pretty Damn. good world. That would be a really sick place to hang out. Oh. Out there. Word of advice. Look out for the little guy. Oh. Thought he was going to say stay in school. All right, so he completely sold out and wrote a book. Why is jail calling? <laughs> Lang! Right here. All right, come on, let's go. Oh, hey, Dad. Cassie, what happened? Sign here. Jail stuff. What, what do you mean? It's really dangerous tech. I know, it's dangerous. What if the cops took it from you? Huh? What if you lost it? I didn't lose it. Got in the hands of someone else. You have a suit? I know how what? to take care of myself, okay? Trust me, I'm pretty good at it by now. Ouch. All right, go ahead and move out then. You know, Mom, you can talk about it. If you want sweetheart i spent 30 years down there yeah i want to live right i asked this in the last movie and like i don't think that ever answered it but so she spent 30 years in real time down there right scott spent five years in the quantum realm but scott only spent five hours down there so so really she was only down there for 30 hours in her time because if she didn't have any food or water she would have died obviously so 30, you can survive for 30 hours, but still, I don't think the movie's ever going to talk about that though. And it's like, if she's only down there for 30 hours, how did she age so much? I don't know. I'm probably missing a detail about it. So aren't you the guy who broke into Vistacorp? Aren't you the guy who flew all the way to Germany just to fight Captain America at the airport? Fight with Captain America. People still need help, dad. At least we're trying to do something that matters. Hmm. Huh? What are you three up to? Science. With ants, ant science. Okay. I had a lot of time, and I started reading Grandpa Hank's old journals, and I got really into the quantum realm. And oh, the quantum realm? I know we all have a history there, and I didn't want to freak anyone out, but we've been talking about it. So you've been studying the quantum realm. Mm -hmm. Why didn't you ask me about it? I'll do, Mom. Nobody's going to the quantum realm. That's why we made this. It's like a satellite mm. for deep space or the ocean. And study and explore the entire quantum realm. Wow. Never even have to go. Wow. Your daughter built. Took her five years to build that. I feel like you need more than five years to really s to study and understand the quantum realm. You know, if I had something like this when you were gone, then I could have found you. It's amazing. Well, you didn't, so. I had to wait till a damn rat let me out. <laughs> Shut it down now. What's wrong? You have to turn it off! Stop and tell us what's wrong! There's something I should have told you. <laughs> yeah, about Kang. <laughs> oh, we're gonna be sucked in, back into the quantum realm. Ooh. Oh, the ants. <laughs> R.I.P. Ant, the knee, never forget. Mm. 
Where are we? We're in the quantum. What, what do you mean, where are we? You've been studying this for the last five years. I do not know where we are. We literally got sucked into the thing you built to study the quantum realm. We're obviously in the quantum realm. I guess they all went to different places. Dad! So now they all gotta find each other again. Oh, never mind. They're right there. Scott and Cassie went somewhere else. Henry, no, you need to tell us. And what why didn't you listen? I told you to stay away from here. I should have told you what we were doing. I had no idea. I know. We'll talk later. Right now, we stick together. My Scott and Cassie says the man who invented flying on the back of an ant. I like ants. And I love that you love them. Here. She doesn't give a fuck about them. Where exactly are we going? this we're not too far from an old friend of mine if anyone's mm. heard where scott and cassie are it'll be him <laughs> the scene kind of feels like return of the jedi when they all got captured by the ewoks hello well oh, hi hi <laughs> did you drink the ooze the, yeah, you kind of dumped it in my- you kind of mouth-fucked me with it, so yeah. Who's worked? Okay. His name is Scott Lang? He has seven holes. <gasps> yeah, that's, that's right. How, how, do you, how did you know that? He's quiz. He's a telepath. It's common knowledge. You can read minds? Yeah, and I really wish I couldn't. Everyone is disgusting. <laughs> Hmm. I, I shrink, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, but I wrote a book about it, actually. This yeah, is the quantum realm. Um, they don't know what a book is. They don't know how to read. I'm surprised they even speak English. Okay, they're telling the truth. It's convenient this guy's here to see if we're lying or not. You come from above, like him. So he is hunting you, the Conqueror. Mm-hmm. Kang the Conqueror. Cool fits. Life, mm. evolution, our place in the galaxy. Holy shit. <laughs> what? That guy looks like broccoli. <laughs> oh my god. Mmm, we got a little cantina. I'm here for Krylar. I don't know your ways or customs, but I assume that you have a beverage that can get me drunk. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Right this way. What's that, Hank? What's in your ear? What did you just hear? Janet Van Dyne? I thought you were dead. Okay, that's Tom Hanks. What the hell? That's Tom Hanks. <laughs> or is that Bill Murray? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Gotta be Hank. <laughs> I've heard so much about you, and well, I don't think I would have told my kid either. <laughs> Wild stuff. Yeah, she definitely had an affair with them. Look, excuse me, we just want to go home. I wanted to go At home once. At least you still have a home. Oh. The conqueror burned our home. He built his citadel on the bones of our people. I'm sorry. Yeah, Cassie's gonna want to help. We can help. Ah, uh, Cassie. Dad. You're an Avenger. They need help. I'm just Ant-Man. What I need to do is get you home. Why don't you want to help? We don't know anything about this place. I mean, I don't even know how time works down here. Have we been gone for 10 seconds? Or have we been gone for 10 years? Think about yeah. your mom right now. Can you imagine? Don't use mom be? as an excuse. You just don't care. No, I do care. But I'm weird. I have to protect us first. Right. Just because it's not happening to you doesn't mean it's not happening. And no one knows this place better than Janet. What did you say? What? Yep, they know who Janet that is. Name. So she's famous down here. Okay. You know her? I know her. Are you, are you cool with her? She shouldn't be here. Yeah, a lot happened while she was down here that just. She's never bothered to mention it was a past life of hers, I guess. So much happened while she was down here and just decided to never mention it. All right. Or correctly, you left. You left all of us. With him. Dana, what is he talking about? She abandoned everyone. For, she left everyone down here to deal with King. You didn't tell them about him. About what you did here. How many people died because of you? Just give him what he wants. What does he want? We fought against him. 
it can be very persuasive. Jonathan Majors has that effect. Where are the controls? You got to put your hands in them. Hands all the way in. Like Ew. stepping a turkey. Ugh. Ew. To be charming. But that guy? I was down here for 30 years, Henry. I had needs. Oh my god. Look, I was someone a few times. Her name was Linda. <laughs> it didn't work out. What went wrong? She wasn't you, baby. I was, I was about to say she wasn't you. I literally almost said that myself. Why? What? If you're looking for Janet, he's looking for you. You led them straight to us. <laughs> oh, come on, come on. Let's go. She, she obviously wants to help and like I love her compassion for everyone and her desire to help but it's gonna get her killed or like it should get her killed for the sake of the movie it probably won't but in reality it probably would give up the travelers the conqueror will show you mercy I know she's mercy mm. that was a good line hey I have a suit yeah I mm. noticed the suit you have a suit wait you have a suit? I, I know how to do it, Dad. Oh, do you? Yes. Really? Because it didn't look like it from I my just, end. I messed up on the timing. Jump. Yeah, it takes it takes practice. It takes time to get down. Scott didn't get it down in a day. If I remember right, it took him a while. Centauri, we have to go. Oh, I thought he was going to be like, he's here. Okay, that is ship. Looks like unintentionally looks like a dick. Like Dr. Evil's ship. It looks like it was unintentionally designed like a dick. You know, what the fuck? Welcome back to the quantum room, Scott. I've been waiting a long time for this. What the fuck? What? Is someone in there? Oh, our fates have always been forged together. Ever since that day we met. This fucking guy? This bald guy? Uh, yeah, we yeah, we sent him to the quantum room, right? Yeah. Finished me down here. Wait. Yeah. Darren? Surprises. <laughs> what the fuck? This will be kind. Cassie? I almost didn't recognize him. Oh my god, he looks so weird. I'm not dead. Yeah. I became the ultimate weapon. Dude, he looks like um he looks like George Lopez from Spy Kids 3D. Whatever George Lopez was supposed to be, it's like it looks how he is right here. I could be dead. Hope, please. And you're still hiding things from us. I am trying to protect you. From what? Bro, say it already. What I've are you been so afraid of. Yes. I hate the, how this movie just keeps fucking dancing around it. Like we're 47 minutes into this movie by now. Just say it. You left Darren to die in the quantum realm, but the conqueror found me, rebuilt me, made me the ultimate weapon. A mechanized Ew. organism designed only for kill well, Modoc. Oh, a mo Oh, I get it. It's an acronym. Mechanized organism designed only for killing. Okay. That's what Kyler was talk talking about earlier. You're looking at a man set free. I've created so much more here than you could possibly imagine. Dude, he just looks like a kid in a wheelchair with an oversized head. <laughs> what is this place? He said he was a traveler. A scientist who crashed off course. A ship that could travel the multiverse. Mm -hmm. The multiverse. We brought it back to life. Connected to his thoughts. When I touched it. I saw everything. I saw his mind. Yeah. Everything he's done. I felt what he had done. Entire worlds. Entire timelines mm -hmm. gone like they never even existed. He's been so nice to you so far, so it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Who is a king? Who I need to be. <laughs> he didn't crash here. He was exiled here, outside space and time. You just help them. The only place that could hold him. Mm -hmm. Exiled. Yeah, wait, by who? The TVA? But they sabotaged his ship and trapped him here. If he's destroying timelines, who who the hell could have exiled him? The Watcher? So let me take you home. And then... What are you going to do? Win. <laughs> that, was a hell, that was a great line. And how many worlds will die? If you get out, 
All of them. Not yours. Ooh, not ours. You're gonna spare our world because she helped you. Don't you want to see your daughter again? Mm, you don't know if he's bluffing or not. Why do you think you could stop me? You, don't you? Ooh. Don't you still need her though? The. Well, you need that part she just took, so. She lets him leave, then so many worlds and timelines are dead, and she's not willing to do that. She's not willing to let them all die. Just for her own selfish self interest. Ooh. Oh, shit. I'm sorry, Hope. Oh, shit. No! Oh, oh that. She put four of them on that thing? Yeah. I blew up his core, cut him off from time and trapped us both down here forever. But I gave him back enough. Now that he had his suit back, he became what he always did. Yeah, so that's how he conquered the quantum the quantum realm down here and still. He took his prison Damn. and made it his empire. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, what else are you gonna do down here? And then you saved me. Interrupted her war. You couldn't have known. I'm sorry I never told you. She's probably embarrassed. I just wanted to forget. Yeah. He's after the core, but he needs pin particles to reach it. He cannot get out. I hope he does. Kind of rude for him, not gonna lie. Okay. I'm an Avenger. <laughs> I've called the other Avengers. You're an Avenger. Have I killed you before? <laughs> what? They all blur together after a while. You're not the one with the hammer. <laughs> it's Thor. We get confused a lot. Similar body types. Not as good looking as me. Janet stole something from me. My ticket out of here. Mm, you're gonna get it back for me. Just gonna try and get Scott to get it back. And you're the only one who can steal it back. Yep. And why would I do that? Because you want to get out of here. And I need to get out of here. Because I know how it ends. How what ends? Everything. So... If you want to stop what's coming, and trust me, you do. I am the only shot you have. What's coming? More of him. Me. Yep. A lot of me. Mm-hmm. So you kind of, dude, like, you do need him to stop that. But obviously he's trying to bait them into helping him, so. They exiled me. But I'm the man who can get you home. Do we have a deal? Mm. No, I don't think we do. Or I will kill your daughter in front of you. Then make you relive that moment over and over again in time, endlessly, until you beg me to kill you. That's sadistic. Don't do it! You really should do it. Her to live, or do you want her to die? Please! Do you think I'm lying? No. <laughs> do I look like a liar? Do you know? I'll do it! I'll do it! I'll do it! Just let her go! Let her go! Let her go! I mean, all he did was pick her up and turn her sideways and like, squeeze her arm a bit. I thought, I guess that was enough for Scott. Just be glad I need you. <laughs> yeah, imagine if he didn't need you. <laughs> Don't touch her again. <laughs> then give me what I need. It was a multiversal engine core. A power source that could take you anywhere in space and time. Damn, it just got bigger and bigger. Then Janet blew it up. It's in that. It is that. And we have to get to the center. Technically, we could shrink it down again, right? Once you're inside, find the core and size it back down. Yep. The longer you're in there, the more your mind will come undone. Mm. Better hurry. Cassie, what are you doing? This is all my fault. Yeah, it kind of is. Hey. Yeah, it, it really is. My whole life happened because I messed up. The only thing I didn't mess up is, is you. you. <laughs> yeah. Darren, can you hear me? Darren? Darren, Modoc, can you hear me? What? <laughs> what do I do? What's the plan? Don't die. <laughs> Thanks, asshole. Thanks. Big help, Modoc. Hmm. Yeah, I see it. It's pretty big, though. I'm heading in. Whoa. Whoa. <gasps> because you got me in here. Oh, so I am the real one, huh? No, I didn't say that. <laughs> oh, he's just gonna keep multiplying. What is this place? It's a probability storm. Every choice you could make existing all at once. That's so... It's infinite probabilities. Oh, she can hear him now. Dad, just come back one more time. Come back. 
Oh, he's helping himself. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on, let's do it. How are you able to do that? I'll tell you how. Come on. We all want the same thing. Mm, Cassie. Mm hmm. And I'm coming, Cassie. Yep. I'm doing it for Cassie, bitch. Common desire. Well, that's not that's not stable, dude. What? Oh, there's a force field on it. No. What no! Hope. Hope. Are you real? I'm real. Yeah, but uh, hope they. He's trying to get that back to Kang so he could save Cassie. And then you're trying to destroy this so he can never leave. But, well, all right, let's see how this unfolds then. Let's see if he gets it. They're, they're gonna have to fight over it. Or Kang's just gonna intercept them and take it. Come on. We gotta get that thing out of here. No, 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 wait, he's got Cassie. Yep. Fuck Cassie. <laughs> Janet. Give that to me. We He's got Cassie. We will save her. I promise you we will. No. You, you cannot give that to him. Yeah. Sc I wouldn't trust him. Oh, she's here. Scott has no idea the consequence of giving that to him, though. Like, Janet actually felt it and saw it all. Scott has no idea. Now, like, if Scott knew about her before, then he might have honestly refused to help him in the first place, but... Hello. What's it gonna be, Scott? Do I need to take it? Mm -hmm. Where is my do don't? We had a deal. You really think he was gonna? She'll going? be fine with Ooh. that. <sighs> you left me right here to die. Let's see how they do. When you touched my mind. What did you see? A monster who thinks he's a god. When you can see time the way I do, I am the only one that can see it's broken. And who broke it? I did. <laughs> My variants throughout the multiverse. But I saw how it ends. I saw their chaos spreading across realities I saw the multiverse and it was dying all because of them so he's like Loki trying to save it so I took control mm -hmm. you mean you started a war kind of now you want to wipe away any universe that's a threat to you that's what monsters do that's what conquerors do you don't care about saving anything or anyone you only want revenge because they beat you. Because you lost. You have no idea what I have lost. And I will burn them out of time for what they've done to me. You'll be wiping out entire timelines, murdering trillions of people. I wish that mattered. <laughs> Oh, it's an ant. Ants. How did you find them down here? Called them I've to been you. picking up strange signals ever since we crashed. Function? Some kind of interference? What is this? It was the ants. It was the ants. Apparently, mm -hmm. they passed through some sort of time dilation. Mm. They lived thousands of years in a single day, Damn. expanding their knowledge, <laughs> their science, becoming more advanced than I could have ever thought. All right, well, this is highly convenient. They've already built something of a technocratic class two civilization. <laughs> what are you thinking? Well, as a great writer once said, it's going to quote Scott. There's always room to grow. Mm-hmm. You read my book? No. Every goddamn mm. word. Just read the cover. <laughs> I guarantee you that's on the cover. Well, I guess he did. I built an empire down here, Janet. And I'm taking it with me.
Okay, well, I'm assuming he doesn't get out of here. He doesn't get out of the quantum realm. Because if he gets out, there is no one that can stop him. Tony's dead. Tony is probably the only person that would be smart enough to figure it out. And he's dead. Steve's dead. I'm dead, retired. The Avengers, it's not even the Avengers anymore. Like, they're, they're broken up. They're all over the place now. And, like, maybe Doctor Strange, but, like, it's the best chance we have. And... But I don't think he's he's not he's nowhere near enough. Him and Wanda, Strange and Wanda versus uh, Kang would be really cool to see though. You know what I really want to see actually? I want to see an Ultron with six stones go against Kang from like an Ultron from What If? That would be so that would be insane. We gotta rebuild Ultron just to stop Kang. That I hope he does. I kind of hope he does make it out of the Quantum Realm though, just because I want to see the consequences. I want to see what he's capable of once he's out. King! He had a deal! There's so many! Scott! I can't hold him! It's the ants! Oh, I know, it's everyone else that came through. Never mind. They came. Mm hmm. Bridge code. Hot first. 18147. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Highly convenient. Hi. Oh. oh, buddy just got waxed. I have holes. Uh, he'll, yeah, he'll be fine. Please let this work. <laughs> It worked. Ooh. Dude, this guy kind of sucks for being like the ultimate killing machine. Like, he, he literally hasn't done anything. Oh. Hey, where do you think you're going? Let's go. You think this is over? Bro, just stomp on him. Mm, here he comes. <laughs> oh, oh, RP that guy. I like them all. Okay, I'm happy they're actually having King like demonstrate how powerful he is, so we understand as an audience. Because I was gonna say we have to wait till like another movie. That would have been kind of shitty. But I mean, he kind of he still hasn't done much yet in this, so. Like, I don't even really understand how powerful King is. I, I've just always heard he's insanely powerful. You think this is new to me? <laughs> Do you know how many rebellions I have put down? In worlds I've conquered. How many Avengers I've killed? <laughs> I am King! You talk to ants. <laughs> Oh god, is this Hank? Yeah, <laughs> there's army of ants. Oh. <laughs> there's so many of them. Oh my god, bro, this is just like Endgame. Holy shit. This is Endgame with ants. <laughs> wow, is Kang really about to be beaten by like literal ants? When I'm editing this video, I'm about to put in the fucking endgame music when they all show up again. Like, I, okay, I get this is Ant-Man's movie, but like, like that kind of just makes Kang look pathetic. You always were a brother to me. I was? Yeah. Yeah, maybe from like your perspective, but that's not how Scott felt. And at least I died. An Avenger. Sure. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Let's just give it to him. You did. Yeah. No, it's... You're in. Yeah. You're in. <laughs> you did it. Damn, so King's just being like that? The ants got him? Like, I feel... It's that easy? Well, not easy, but like... Oh! oh. Yeah, he bit King's coming, yeah. Where's Scott? 
Cassie's gonna go back for Scott. And maybe Scott gets away and Cassie stays in the corner room. Ooh. Ooh. That's a cool shot from inside the mask. And you're not getting out. I want you to remember. You could have gone home. Oof. You never would have honored that deal. Like, you didn't anyway. You could have seen your daughter again. Bro, you were never... <laughs> but you thought you could win. I don't have to win. You just have to lose. We both just have to lose. <laughs> yep. Oh, shit. He put red and blue on it. What is that going to do? Maybe just make it explode? Ooh, it's going to close. Oh, I denied him. What the fuck? What the fuck? Okay, like, it sucked him in there. Ooh. Oh, shit. Sure. Are they are, is Hope and Scott... Are they stuck here now? Cassie's invention is going to bring him back. We saved everyone here from Kang. Right. That was good. All right. Next, you're beating a time-traveling space king. We did beat him. Mm, I mean, yeah, oh. that, that's what happened. He, he was getting out and he didn't get out. Yeah, he didn't get out, but he got sucked into that thing. So, like, I don't know exactly what happened to him. But he, he also said something bad was coming. Oh, is it here? And that everyone would die if he didn't get Yeah, he wasn't capping. So did I just kill everyone? Mm. Is everyone going to die because of me? I think they're going to die regardless, dude. Oh, my God. Like, what did I do? What? What did, what, what did I do? You know what? <laughs> it's probably fine. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I thought they were about to just reveal it. I mean, like, regardless, everyone's probably dying because it's Kang himself who does it or all the other variants coming here to do it. Probably fine. Kang's gone. You did it. Don't have to worry about that guy anymore. <laughs> oh. Ugh. Oh, okay, well, that was Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantum Mania. The exiled one is dead. Mm. None of us killed him. They did. They will kill everything. Let's stop wasting time. How many did you call? All of us. Oh shit. All, right. all these king variants yeah good luck stopping them probably not all as powerful as the king we just got in this movie but like still i mean i'm guessing they all could be i don't know okay what is this second post credits victor timely hmm it. that's him oh it's loki you made him sound like this terrifying figure Loki in movies. They fucking found him. King Lord. God damn. Okay, that was a great post credit. Holy shit. Teasing Loki season two, I'm guessing. Damn, they found him. All right, so that was Ant Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania. There were things about this movie I really liked, and then there were things I didn't really like, to be honest. One thing I really liked was Jonathan Majors. I thought he did a phenomenal job in it. I love seeing him on screen. I That's what I was most interested in throughout this movie, is just him on screen. After the opening scene where they revealed him, I was kind of just waiting until we got back to him, to be honest. And I got a little impatient, not gonna lie. And then, Oh, that is way too bright. Like you could feel his presence every single time he was on screen. And I thought he did a phenomenal job. One thing I really like too about this movie is they, okay, there were definitely jokes in it, but this movie wasn't littered with jokes throughout the entire movie. There wasn't a joke in every single sentence. It's pretty much what they did with Thor, uh, Love and Thunder. And like, uh, it, it just takes you completely out of the movie. 
it wasn't as bad in this one. So bonus points for that, especially with Jonathan Majors too. It may be like a slight, slight joke, but like it wasn't like a joke they went out of their way to tell. It was more of just like maybe a one-off comment or something that didn't change the tone of the scene at all, you know? Because like in Thor, what they would do is they build up the scene and then they would ruin it with a joke. In King scene, they'd build it up, they'd build it up. It wouldn't just undermine everything he just said prior. So the movie took itself seriously when Jonathan Majors King was on screen and it felt really refreshing. So, okay, one thing that I didn't really like about this movie is I think Kang should have won. I think he should have won, to be honest. I thought, I think that would have made the movie a lot more interesting. It would have got me way more excited for everything else or what's coming out after this, to be honest. See, I don't like the fact that he lost to a bunch of ants. I get it's Ant-Man's movie, so like he, he kind of has to, but like still, I think if Kang would have won, it would have really set the tone for him going forward. See, like they chose to go a different route with this. As far as I understand, Kang is supposed to be the next big bad villain like Thanos, right? They didn't introduce Thanos in any other movie prior to Infinity War. Well, I mean, like he was in like snippets and stuff, but like he wasn't in a full, he wasn't fully in a movie like Kang was in this one. Like you had teases of Thanos before Infinity War, so like I'm not counting those. You really set the tone when Thanos got to Infinity War, so like it worked. It worked really well. But with this, they were to have had Thanos in a movie prior to Infinity War, just like Kang is in this one, and he were to have lost to like the Guardians of the Galaxy, for example, like Thanos being the father of Gamora and Nebula, like they did something, like they had to fight Thanos or whatever, and they beat him in Guardians before Infinity War. Then I don't think Infinity War would have worked as well. Like, no way. Yeah, for that reason, I really wish Kang would have won because it would really set the tone just how powerful he is because I'm under the impression he's insanely powerful and like he is an actual problem, you know? I don't, I just don't think it's a good way to set the tone by having him lose to Ant-Man and specifically a bunch of ants. And like the problem is they're setting him up to be this insanely powerful menacing villain. Like this version of him in this movie set himself I've killed the event. I've killed the Avengers countless times. Okay, he's killed all of them countless times. Now, now that automatically makes him more powerful than Thanos right away because because Thanos beat them in Infinity War. He had to put in work to do it to him to beat him. Like on Titan when he fought them on Titan, like bro, he he lost. He literally lost against them actually if it wasn't for a Quill. But like still, in order to kill the Avengers multiple times, I would assume you are very powerful, more powerful and more threatening than Thanos. You are more of a problem than Thanos. I would have loved to see him fight, you know, like maybe in like a flashback in his memories or something like I don't know, just a quick couple seconds of him fighting them and killing them. That would have been pretty cool because then that actually confirms to us on screen that he did it. It's, they're not just telling us, they're showing us then. And it got me really excited for the next upcoming movies to see him actually fight the Avengers, the Avengers later on. Obviously, some of them are dead now, but the ones that are still alive, at least this version of him specifically, not his other variants, this version of him specifically. So if this version of him specifically is beating the Avengers multiple times, how does he lose the Ant-Man and Ants? How? That doesn't make sense. That kind of bothers me, to be honest. Like, if he beats the other Avengers countless times, he should have won here. Ant-Man should not have beaten him at all. But I guess it's not necessarily about this version of Kang. It's about his other variants that are, that are the problem too, because he said himself, that the other versions of me are way more ruthless. He said he was trying to stop him too. And he's like, I need your help. But also he was going to take over this multiverse as well. And so... That <sighs> He tried to tell Scott, he tried to tell him. So Scott's gonna feel like a fucking dickhead when all these other variants pull up now and he's gonna be like, fuck. Like when, what Kang said about Thor, when Ant-Man said, I'm an Avenger, Kang was like, oh, the one with the hammer? Like that's how much he doesn't give a fuck about the Avengers. That's how easy of opponents they were. One of the most powerful Avengers barely stood out to him as a threat. Like he just dismisses Thor because uh, that implies how easy of an opponent he was. He was not a worthy adversary to even take him seriously. And then the fact that Ant-Man beats him just undermines everything he said about himself earlier and how he's beaten the Avengers countless times. I guess he actually died in this too. Like this version of him died, but he's not the issue. He's not the real threat. The real threat is all the other variants of him coming over, coming now to take over. So I guess you could kill him off in this technically but like still i don't like the fact that they did it because now it just feels like he's easy to beat because he's been killed twice one by sylvie and then the second by ant-man <laughs> he's easy to beat in a fight there's just so many different versions of him 
that's the real problem you know that's what it feels like now it's like would you rather fight a hundred chicken sized horses or one horse sized chicken you know that, that's kind of what the, they're doing here it's like would you rather fight one boss or a hundred little henchmen that question still remains to this day. What would you rather do? Where would I rank this movie so far in the Ant-Man trilogy? Um, honestly, I kind of like Ant-Man 1 and 2 better, to be honest. I don't know, they just felt way more personal to Scott. Like, his friends weren't even in this. You know, from the last two movies, like Luis and Russian guy, like, they weren't in, they weren't even in this. I'm like, oh, I was kind of expecting them to be in this. I mean, I could definitely rank them as 1, 3, 2 as well. I don't know, I just feel like this movie wasn't as consistent with what the other two movies were about. But, like, kind of thinking about the second one now, yeah, you could put this movie over the second one. But the first one's definitely the first. It, I guess three and two are, like, preference, to be honest. And, like, with uh, Scott and Cassie's dynamic, that just, it just didn't feel natural. Like, it just didn't feel like they had any chemistry, to be honest. Like, okay, they recasted her from um, the girl who played her in Endgame and everything, and... I don't know if they should have done that to be honest because like in endgame when scott finally saw her after five years like that felt real that felt like sad like you could feel the emotion from both of them you know i don't know and this i just had a hard time like connecting to the connecting to their dynamic and their relationship to be honest because like she kind of just like rubbed me the wrong way in the beginning of the movie where she kind of just told like scott like you're not doing anything to help anyone and it's like bro do you not understand what I just fucking went through? Like what? Oh my God. And it's like, he may not be doing as much now, but do you not understand what he just did? What he just went through? I don't know. I kind of just felt like Cassie was just like a plot mechanism to advance the story a little bit. Like, oh, I just happened to be studying the quantum realm for the last five years and I developed this contraption, you know? It's like, I think you need a lot more than five years to study the quantum realm to really understand it in order to build something like this. I get it, like Hank helped her out, but like still, you know, they made it seem like it was all Cassie who just did that. Like she did it all by herself. But yeah, that was Ant-Man Quantum Mania. Comment down below what you thought about this movie down below in the comments. And if you liked the video, like the video. And thanks for watching.